Hey guys, welcome to the Real DVD Watchers. I want to apologise straight away for the really bad quality of this video. Um, I haven't really got much time to do this, so I figured I'd just use the webcam on my laptop and I forgot how bad it is, so sorry. Anyway, the movie I'm reviewing this week is uh, The Invention of Lying, starring Ricky Gervais and Jessica Garner. Jennifer Garner? Jessica? I, I don't know why I said Jessica. Jennifer Garner, who was, of course, uh, Sydney Bristow on Alias. It also stars Jonah Hill. Uh, Rob Lowe, Tina Fey, and Louis C.K. Um, the plot of the movie is basically set in like an alternative uh, universe where nobody can lie, so nobody knows how to lie, so everybody tells the truth. So a lot of the comedy from this movie comes from the fact that people can't lie. Um, so, for example, at the beginning of the movie, Rick, Ricky Gervais's character goes on a date with Jennifer Garner's character, um, and the whole way through the evening, she's telling him how unattractive he is and how she's not going to sleep with him and stuff like that. And it, it is quite funny... Uh, for the first kind of half hour of the movie, when you've got all these characters who cannot lie, so they just tell the truth no matter how uh, harsh or critical it is. Anyway, um, one day Ricky Gervais basically is fired from his job as a screenwriter for like history movies or something. Um, so he goes into the bank to withdraw some money to pay his rent, and something in his head clicks, and he decides to ask for more money than he knows is in his account. And because nobody lies, nobody expects him to be lying, so they just hand over the money. And he then learns that he can just get away with anything. He can tell people whatever he wants and make everything up. Um, this then goes on to uh, his his mother is basically dying and he sees her in hospital. And she asks him, is there anything after life? You know, is there anything after death? Um, and he lies and tells her that there's this amazing place where you are with all your friends. Basically he tells her about heaven. And the doctors and stuff overhearing, her, overhear him saying this. And this kind of widespread, worldwide phenomenon starts to happen where everybody wants to hear about this amazing place that you go to when you die. And he becomes, becomes like a religious figure in a way and starts this, um, is kind of a take on like Christianity or any kind of religion, I guess. Um, so there's that side of the movie as well. Anyway, the film itself is okay. It's not that great. Uh, the first hour of this movie is excellent. It's really funny. It, it hits all the right kind of notes for me I thought it was really good and then the second half well the second well the last half hour of the movie the ending I guess is just really it the last half hour really dragged it really slowed down um it just wasn't as funny and I don't know I, I did, ended up it kind of ended on kind of a, a bad note for me I just felt it kind of just dragged on and it really didn't know where it was going um it I, in a way it's kind of hard to end the movie I guess um because in some ways, you want to see the character kind of, um, for all the lies and stuff that he's told, you want him some kind of comeuppance, I guess, in a way, or something to happen, you know, to kind of say, well, actually, lying's not that great. But I, I don't know. They, it was kind of hard. I didn't know how the movie was going to wrap up, and it just it dragged, I suppose, towards the end. Um, one of the really great things about this movie is there are loads and loads of cameos from famous celebrities, actors and stuff. Um, I don't want to spoil too many of them, but they are really funny. And it's worth watching the movie just for those. Um, Favourite, of course, is Stephen Merchant. I will mention that, who obviously was in The Extras. He's excellent. Um, does an excellent job in this movie, just as a cameo appearance. Um, but yeah, if you like Ricky Gervais, if you like his movies, or his TV series, or whatever, check it out. It's worth it. You know, you'll like it if you're a fan of his. Um, I, I liked it. I wouldn't say it was the best movie ever. It was better, in my opinion, than Ghost Town, which was another movie that Ricky Gervais appeared in. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. Not the worst movie ever, not the best either. So that's the invention of lying.